again. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, here we are in uh, Reno. And we're going to head up to Redding from here. So it looks like another route we haven't taken yet in 144. So uh, yeah, let's uh, hop in and get on with it. So yeah, we've got uh, John Root is uh, 362 here, and his trailer uh, is Great Dane Reefer. So all done up in old school skins. Zmods 3406B, and yes, I'm pretty confident that we got the. Uh, issues with the uh, traction behind us. I've got the 24-5 wheel pack back in the game after giving it much bad undeserved, undeservedly bad press. Uh, that was my bad. And apologize to the Rattro guys. This wasn't their problem. This truck and uh, trailer in this skin make a really Go straight. good looking combo, in my mm -hmm. view. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. So, this, uh, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this is Reno as Reforma does it. So Reforma has, uh, I might have mentioned in another video, but I'll, I'll repeat it here. Um, they've got a uh, uh, temporary version Reforma 2.2.8, I believe, out with a compatible, uh, um, you know, 144 version. And it's not got the. Um, Keep right. After oh. 50 yards, turn right. Turn. We're gonna have to get over there to that freeway. So we'll just keep an eye on the traffic on our right here. So, yeah. So anyway, 144 without the. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. Without the Sierra Nevada stuff. So all of that really cool stuff they have in California is not in this one, but uh, Reno is still in here. Turn right. So this is, uh, they were saying that, uh, wow, that's a tight freeway entrance. Huh. Um, so they were saying that they should have their 144. They're hoping, they're working towards um, the end of May. And see how we're just getting into May. That's that's not too bad. So I'll try this one out in the meantime. And this one has uh, some new stuff in Mexico that uh, we'll have to go and look at at some point. Oops, sorry, bud. So hop in here. Yeah, this road, I've only been on a couple times. Uh, right I'm not sure how this one goes in the base game. Uh, Turn right. Curious to see how this uh, 
got a GPS map mod up here and uh, see how accurately the tracks are positioned. Non-existent gear. <laughs> right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. This is one of the uh, the dangerous ones here with the cars on your right. Us on the left trying to get out. Try not stopping like I usually do on the scale. Yeah, yeah you can just roll. Okay, what's going on here? A fire truck. Any other kamikaze? See that little car coming? Oh man! Just plowing you. It's crazy. Ah, oh, they gotta fix that, really. No respect. This little white guy here. Oh, put the fear of God in him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't get that. Like they're clearly leaving, like they're behind you, behind the trailer. Uh, you know, they're not behind the cab of the truck, they're behind the trailer. And they just carry on until they smack into you. Go straight. So this is starting to look like, um, to me, let me think now, what is this? Is this Reforma? I have to get some clues here. I've driven this so often, but typically I've got the uh, uh, reform of map mod going. So I like my map mods. So this is probably 144, not reforming here. Go straight. Yeah, I would say this is the default 144. Great Waldo Pepper out there somewhere. You can't really see it because the light's bad, but uh, got the uh, matching mud flaps, the old school mud flaps on the truck and trailer.
straight. Oh man, I had it. I went for it twice. Yeah, I really like the uh, look of these uh, Retro Development 24.5s. I'm really happy to have them back. I mean, that whole problem with the uh, traction thing started happening. This was my favorite wheel tire combo here. And I started using the, uh, instead of these Bridgestones, I was using the Michelins because when I did my tire test, they were giving more traction. But we're back with them. Uh, looks like we're going to be uh, After 100 yards, turn right. heading into a bit of a sunset. Turn right. Kind of a crazy place to drive from, just keep this angle. Got 336 gears in here. Hop in for a minute, see what it looks like from here.
little guy working out there by himself. Didn't look to have any co-workers with him. Yeah, this, uh, what we're on right now and have been for the last little bit was, uh, came in, I think it was 142, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, it's uh, been a little while, this, these roads. 141, 142, I remember some of this was non existent, and then when we get to Reading, so this is 499 we're going to be getting on to here, I think, pretty quick. Uh, and the other side of Reading is 299. And man, that was just like a cottage road. Like it was insane. The way it was in the original map, if anybody remembers. It was, uh, I mean, it was, it was like a cottage road in mountainous area that was uh, just paved over dirt, like, you know, not properly prepared, not full width. Nothing about it was kind of real. It's pretty shaky. Remember the first time I tried it, I think I might have had an articulated trailer of some sort on. This was my habit back then. Uh, yeah, it was an eye opener. And I didn't know anything about the dev console or turning traffic volume down or any of the good things you could do. It's kind of cool having a nighttime drive. Lights are pretty good on this truck. You can actually see a little bit out the uh, side of the cab here. Like, look over. That's good. It's a lot of them just, you know, the lights are straight ahead and that's it. You get into a small town or whatever that's not lit and you're looking for a turn. It's uh, pretty brutal with a lot of the lights in this game. And they don't broadcast any uh, any light sideways. Going off ATS for a second, but my uh, 62 Cadillac was the first year Cadillac introduced cornering lamps. If you have your parking lights or headlights on, and you use the signal uh, side light on the front, the head of the rear wheel uh, lights up your path. They're pretty bright. They work really good. But they have a special bulb that's super hard to get, so I bought a small case of them on eBay. And uh, haven't gone it through any since. But I know the first two I got, I didn't know about that that supply, and I paid over the odds for two of them, and uh, they were pretty expensive, so I think I bought that whole case of them, uh, 12, for the same price I bought two for originally. Well, this is ready. Exit right ahead. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. No stoplight and no stop sign. Uh oh. Well, we didn't get nailed by anybody, so. straight. 
According, I guess I just don't recognize it in the dark. Cause right. After 50 yards, go straight. Looks like we've traveled it before. Go straight. How's this thing look at night? Got the blue undergo on, uh, underglow on there. Not sure why I have blue on there. This trailer, uh, I. What's he waiting for? Where's the traffic light? Am I missing something? What's going on with my... Oh, there we go. Hmm. That was weird. I wonder what he was waiting for. I didn't see a traffic light there. Huh. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. You have reached your destination. All right. no nose on this truck. <laughs> i pull forward a little further. Okay, well, let's just put it right there. Uh, there's a Moncourt winery trailer right there. We're going to park beside it. Is there any luck? Oh boy, now there goes the audio doing something weird. Does that every now and then. I'm not sure why. Well, we'll see if we can do this from in here. to that guy. Oh man, I'm getting a kink in my neck holding it over here. Alright, there we are. So, that was kind of cool. I kind of enjoyed that uh, Nighttime trip through some forested area, forested area. That was kind of cool. And let's see what all do we got to do. Let's get rid of that. Gonna put the parking brakes on. They're on. Get the lights. See how we did. Oh, isn't that nice? We got paid to have a nice drive through the country. So, yeah, so the I guess all you saw that was uh, different in 144 there was uh, when we actually got to Reading. Because uh, I think that bit um, up into Reading was pretty much uh, the same as it was since they did that upgrade in like 141 or 2. But uh, in Reno it was different with the Reforma. And uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Nice trip. It's uh, another little peek at that truck and trailer. It's a great combo. Kind of a, the skin is uh, proven pretty popular. Yep. Anyway, guys, thanks for following along. Appreciate it as always. And if you haven't, consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. If you have subscribed, thanks very much. And I appreciate that. And all the very best. Uh, have a great day uh, wherever you are, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.